Hello, mamas. Welcome. My name is Shannon Smith, and I'm the founder of Billy C. Mamas, helping you create your most beautiful motherhood. We're going to be bringing Dancing for Birth classes to your community this fall. We wanted to give you a little preview of what Dancing for Birth classes look like and some of the moves that we use throughout our time together in class. So Dancing for Birth is this amazing fusion of fitness, education, and celebration using the ancient wisdom of birth cultures the world over. We will weave in dance moves. You don't have to be a dancer. You can have two left feet. That's totally fine because it's more being inspired by these cultures and we all enjoy moving to the music. So you do not have to be a dancer, a professionally trained dancer to enjoy dancing for birth. So we take the ancient culture, we take those, uh, those moves that have been with midwifery for centuries, and we weave those into our class, and we teach our mamas how to listen to the intuition that's already inside them, to listen and lean in to what their body is doing and creating with their pregnancy. And even afterwards, into the postpartum period, mamas can bring their babies back. The bump just moves up. And they can dance with their newborns and they can dance with their infants. So, dance, childbirth education. Our classes are taught by a certified postpartum and birth doula. So imagine all of the education that you would get in a couple of those prenatal visits that you would meet with your doula. Imagine those being woven in throughout your pregnancy. Childbirth preparation and newborn care. We invite partners to join in with us. We teach them how to support you and we show you a better way to birth, a way that can bring bliss and empowerment to your body. Because remember, your body already knows what to do. It's also celebration. Our classes meet mama circle style, where we sit in a circle and face to face, we encourage each other and we feel affirmed we feel inspired, we get up, we dance, we move, we come back to the floor for some body balancing, for some stretching and some, um, some different positioning that we can learn and practice some meditation. All of this wrapped up in a dancing for birth class. So while each class is, um, created for the moms that come, prenatal and postpartum. We do have some signature moves and I'm gonna show four of them to you today. Um, the moves that you can use at any time throughout your pregnancy and even into your postpartum and inviting baby along to join with you afterwards. And it creates baby bonding, mama bonding. So I'm going to go ahead and show those to you. The very first one is called Birth Goddess. I'm gonna step back so you can see my feet. Oh, and you can see my kitty. Hello, Mozzie. So birth goddess is taking the stance of a plie. So we're gonna take our toes and turn them out to the corners, raise our arms up and sink down. And we're just gonna come side to side. Having pelvic mobility can keep our joints lubricated can keep our bodies feeling good. Bring it down. We like to call this one rock the baby. So whether you have baby still in, you can cradle your tummy, or you can hold your baby. So what this asymmetric move does is it actually creates space inside your pelvis. Being upright 
enlist the help of gravity. This is an amazing position for labor. As you're feeling a contraction or in between. Again, birth goddess, arms are up. Sometimes we can feel support or even from another person from behind. And then invite the bonding to baby. And rock the baby. As you sink down low, you're opening your pelvis. Another move that we like to use in dancing for birth are hip circles. Now these are inspired from belly dance and you can see I'm wearing my coin skirt. This is by no means um, a required uh, piece. It's just fun, makes a fun sound. In our dancing for birth classes, we like to add in an element of fun. So you'll find that a lot of us like to wear the coin skirt, but again, it's not mandatory. So hip circles. Now our feet are pointed forward and we're just going to keep our feet planted and we're going to circle around our pelvis all the way around. Now I'm enlisting my lower back. I'm feeling the stretch and pull in my medial glutes. And I'm creating a spiral with my body that if my baby wants to use this movement to create more space, I have allowed for that to happen. Now we can switch direction. And in Dancing for Birth, you'll often find us introduce a move in one direction and then do the same thing on the other side so that we have body balance. These are hip circles. Again, this is another great move. It's lubricating, keeping my pelvis nice and mobile. My lower back. It's great in labor. It's a nice gentle stretch. And pregnancy and in postpartum. Now again, having baby up here in postpartum, inviting baby into the movement can offer soothing for colic, helping baby to fall asleep with that gentle movement. These are hip circles. And of course you can make them much faster or slow them down. You can invite your whole body into it or isolate it here. Good. All right, the last move that I wanted to share with you is called infinite patience. Those of us that have been mothers before and maybe our veteran mothers inviting another baby into our families we all recognize the need for infinite patience. So with this one, I like to use a scarf. So I actually have this comfort cloth that we use a lot of the time in labor, in birth. We also, uh, we love these comfort cloths in um, just preparation in our prenatal time together. So we're gonna create an infinity sign or basically a figure eight on its side. I'm only using this as a point of reference. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to step into the middle of the figure eight, and now I'm going to use the lines of the cloth to move my hips out and around. And we call this infinite patience. Around and out to the front. And around and out. Now I'm 
imagine a world where you are not self-conscious, you don't care what you look like, you just move your body in a way that feels good. That you just move your body to the music. Now, I don't have music on today because I didn't want it to interfere with all of the other sounds and wanted to be able to hear. My AirPods keep falling out. <laughs> And we'll switch directions. There we go. And have fun with it. Again, the asymmetrical movements of lifting the hip up and sinking down low creates asymmetry in the pelvis which creates more space for baby. So, to review, to recap, point the feet out to the corners, sink down low, and just rock the pelvis side to side. For support, up top. For support, from behind. Invite baby in. or hip circles. Toes are forward. Invite your whole body in. Change direction. Or isolate just the pelvis. Keeping our pelvis mobile. Or stepping into the infinity for infinite patience. Up and around, up and around, up and around. Two left feet, doesn't matter. Create those happy hormones by moving your body. What feels good and then reverse. Infinite patience. So dancing for birth is an evidence-based birth method, trying to bring ancient wisdom back to the forefront for blissful birth, for an empowered birth. So you can use these moves in pregnancy, in postpartum. Move to the music and it makes you feel good. And I hope you'll follow along, bellissimamas.com. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram Belisi Mamas. And we're going to be starting our classes this fall in September. If you have any questions, reach out. I'd love to hear from you.